competing against one another. There's still plenty of matches to play, even though this is the last week. Again, we've been talking about that with some reschedules and whatnot. Anyways, it's going to be a busy finish of the week here into the weekend where we got tons and tons coming at you, and eventually we will determine the top four teams of the six to then move on to the playoff stage. Which that said, we got another important matchup here, as all these really are, as we got Bad Monkey Gaming. They're going to be going up against Rexars. Of course, BMG, they're sitting comfortably in that first place spot right now with 19 points at the top, as we showed in the standings. But again, their competition at Sync Esports could definitely still catch up, and very easily so. In fact, they still play each other one more time, and especially depending on that goes, Sync could still easily, in fact, get that first place spot. So they're still playing for the first place, really. We're in the end. You got Rexars here. You, then you got the, the, the three through six, basically, uh, are playing for, for, for these spots. So obviously looking forward to seeing another fun matchup here. Uh, with that said, I am going to be joined by Meisty once again as my co-cast here. Meisty, how's it going? It's going great, Ricky. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, like, Obviously, I don't think Rexers are going to pass BMG in points, but they're definitely <laughs> fighting for that three to six. Yeah. So it's every game's important, obviously. Yeah. You know, our Rexars, they're in a kind of an interesting spot because uh, we actually mentioned it yesterday. Uh, we didn't cast their series. They ended up playing yesterday as well, but um, they ended up not showing up to the second game. <laughs> so uh, they, they got stomped in the first game against it. Who was it against? Uh, Reason Gaming, I want to say? Yeah, Reason uh, Gaming. It was Reason, yeah. they It didn't go as, as planned. It was like a 13 minute concede loss, and then yeah. they ended up losing in the second, or they forfeited the second game even. I know they didn't have their full roster. They're clearly just they weren't all there. I talked with with Insania going into today's match. He said that they're, they're definitely ready to play today, though. That was kind of a, you know, whatever happened, happened. They're ready to compete against BMG, though. And, and they, they have. I mean, when they played the trip the first time, they lost the Series 2 nothing. But I remember, especially in the first game, they almost took the first game off of BMG. So they can. They, they can oh, yeah. play. Definitely. Um, we see here NG Pebbles dual lane middle. Uh, it's really aggressive, obviously. If I were BMG, I might look to dodge that. Um, BMG has a pseudo push lineup going on so far. Mm -hmm. So we might be seeing BMG banning out. I guess they're banning out some hard carries right now. But look for BMG to you know maybe pick more push or possibly a hard carry of their own. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, that would make sense. In fact, Fuzzy, speaking of hard carry, uh, I, we, we, we've been doing more and more strat tracking. Big shout out to Quincy with that said. He's been obviously a huge help with that. He's the one that's basically been gathering all that information and, and uh, putting it all together. So, you know, from players to play certain heroes to certain games and everything, it's been pretty cool. Uh, I've been doing my best to kind of showcase that. And, well, you know, top five GPM, you know, a stat that you figure you would have or the goal per minute was an important one. Fuzzy is well on top. I mean, he's, he, this, this dude averages 518 goal per minute. I mean, when you think about that, they played something like 17 or 18 games total to average over 500 goal per minute throughout all those games. <laughs> that's pretty ridiculous, but that's... Uh, yeah, Fuzzy is pretty crazy, but you, you do have to take into account that they're winning these games. Um, you know, when you're winning, you're probably going to have yeah. higher GPM and, on average, so that, that is a thing. But, uh, yeah, it's really cool that he's collecting all those stats. It's not easy because you have to go through all the public games. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely no. Quincy's doing a great job of that. So, again, a big big shout out deservingly for him. Uh, anyways, with that said, again, we, we we got it going on here. So let's kind of talk about uh, once again what what actually is happening here. So on Legion's side, they show they have Magnus and Bubbles. It, it leads me to believe that they're gonna solo something middle, either Magnus or Bubbles, mm -hmm. um, because they want to dodge the aggressive dual lane middle, as in um, Pebbles and Engineer. Yeah, and I think that's the right decision. All right. So we'll see. I'm, I'm guessing they're going to choose something, some hard carry for Fuzzy, um, bottom, to lane with Rhapsody. Yeah, again, that's that's something that uh, would make a lot of sense here for BMG. So as far as Rexars is concerned, where are they going to go? They got their dual support, as you're talking about, with the Pebbles. Um, so obviously after the bans. Bans, by the way, what were the initial bans? They're kind of rambling on there about a lot of other stuff. But Drunken Master, Chrono, Swift Blade, Puppet Master. Interesting seeing that Swift Play fan. Yeah, well, um, actually, there's some mind games going on. And I would say BMG got the better end of it. Basically, BMG put um, Rexars into a kind of checkmate where they either gave them Rhapsody or Puppet. Okay. Um, and so they so they banned out Puppet this last ban, and they got Rhapsody, mm -hmm. which I believe is which I believe is better than Torture. But, anyways, so Kraken, uh, are we gonna see the Flux? <laughs> Ooh. Is that a possibility? It's it, it. Wow, Scow, we haven't seen that guy in forever. Huh. Yeah. That's that's the, that's interesting. Is that going to be ran as a suicide? I would think so, but then are they just going to run like a short lane Magnus or something? Yeah. Possibly short lane. 
Hmm, okay. I think it's going to be farming scout. So the scout, yeah. farming scout. I want to be out of the question. I mean, the, the the hero definitely can scale pretty well into the later game, and the discs are very strong and constantly very active, but um, not your usual. <laughs> no, not your usual at all. I mean, it's still a very strong suicide, even though it was nerfed. Uh-huh. Especially against uh, more passive lineups. I know, like, against, like, a jungle war beast and stuff like that, a scout, a suicide scout is actually very prevalent. Solstice jungle, okay. So, it's looking like, um... Hmm, this is really interesting. Are they going to lane Solstice? Because I don't... I... It's... I mean, they could... And Sanya's playing the Torture here. I, I think they are. Okay, here's something interesting. The Lila Rexar or Lil Rexar uh -huh. is generally their mid player. Red Rexar is generally their support player, but they have kind of swap roles there. Okay, that's um, true. Yeah, no, I, I do recall that. Yeah, interesting. So is Engineer going to be playing support, or is there going to be something wacky going on? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we will. That Yeah, that is. So not only that, but again, so will Solstice end up in the jungle maybe because of that, or is it still going to be that laning? So I mean, they're voting. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's some weird bug, yeah. Maybe we look too much into that. There's... Yeah, maybe that's why they can swap. Okay, yeah. I was going to say. So probably going to remake the game here and be able to get the roles. <laughs> that. Uh... I was trying to like break it down, but yeah, uh, yeah that's probably the most um, reasonable explanation for that. Yeah. Yeah, obviously that makes sense there. So going to swap things around. But again, so I, I mean, who knows? So if they do swap it around, so probably I, they could definitely still have the Torturer, which would make sense. I mean, that, that's not out of the question. You got your no, it's not. Justice and... I mean, Sidney was on that, but of course, you know, they might have just not been able to switch it around. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking. Yeah, I mean, I think they, I think the most reasonable thing for them to do is still the Torturer, but... Mm -hmm. I know, I was watching actually the uh, the Russian tournament, or whatever that was, and they laned, I think it was Cats Gaming, laned Torture against Reason Gaming, and or was was it Reason? Anyways, they they laned, uh, they laned Solstice, my bad, they laned Solstice, and it actually um, just dominated. Yeah. Uh, really? It, yeah, okay. so we might be seeing that. Game is up. Let's try to join this here, there we go. Uh, yeah, no, I, okay, yeah, I, I didn't get to catch any of that, uh, that Russian tournament. I believe Team Excellence actually ended up winning that. Recent event. <laughs> Kicking you. <laughs> He's my caster noob. I just call limp a noob. Hopefully it doesn't hurt me. All right. Yeah. All right. So, once we're good to go here. Yeah, don't forget the overlay, they say. Doing my best not to forget the overlay. Usually don't. Usually don't. Happens every now and then. Uh, but yeah, as far as BMG, BMG's lineup, though, again, uh, Seems like they, well, again, this still the scout. I <laughs> still a little yeah, of that too. Uh, I mean, you know, like looking at Fuzi, he he does play that hard carry. Like that's kind of his role. I know, I know he can. He's been seen playing like bubbles and the hag and stuff. But I have a hard time believing that he's just gonna go like a Magmus short lane or something. Yeah. So I'm thinking the scout's gonna be the. It's interesting. <laughs> Rude. All right, so yeah, the scout uh, definitely the one that stands out there. And again, really how Rexars ultimately decides to go about this uh, laning phase, especially with the heroes. Like, okay, Solstice is, does not open Insania's hand, so they yeah they do get it as you would expect. Okay, so they are like what it looks like right now is they're running. It looks like they're gonna run Suicide Scout, which I like, and then I guess maybe a dual middle with Magnus, and then Fuzi can solo bottom. Mm -hmm. I, I would say that Hellborn does have the advantage in the dual lane middle, yeah. though, with the Engineer. However, Rhapsody uh, Magmus is still very strong. Mm -hmm. All right, once all the ready-ups happen, then we'll get a better idea, of course, what's going to be happening. So, yeah, Jonas Fan does end up with the scouts of Fuzi on Bubbles here. So, both swaps going up on both sides. <laughs> okay, I mean, their lineup makes a lot more sense now. Kraken's probably going to be suiciding. Torture is going to be soloing top, farming Torture. Mm-hmm. Jungle Solstice, and then Dual Mid. So pretty standard lanes <laughs> as it comes down to it. Yeah. Uh, so nothing too crazy in the end. But I mean, still seeing a Solstice here, Solstice Jungle. I mean, not not what, not here. We can see. And, and actually, you brought this up yesterday too. And Sania has been playing a lot of secondary support kind of jungle almost. But he's actually right. going a true jungler this time around. At least more so than a Voodoo Jester or Dimension Shaman. Or... Yeah, I, I guess we'll see if he's um, active. I know he generally likes likes the kind of parasite Ophelia heroes, and he's really active with them. So, 
Um, I, I know Solstice has actually been picked up a lot after this last patch, especially in TMM. Yeah. It seems like he's been getting a lot, a lot of attention. Yeah, the whole jungle changes and just uh, the hero as a whole is gaining more and more interest. So, <laughs> the true Solstice power. Yeah, and I think he's a pretty good counter push hero because these guys illuminate, which is oh, some yeah. AoE damage, and, as well as his ulti, you know? You can't. Mm -hmm. If you're clumping up to push, you can get. You're easily um, acceptable. Or susceptible, susceptible to get ulted. Yeah, that the the illuminate as I called it the Illuminati. Uh, the the ability it's not a, it's it's got a lot of multi purposes. It's just good for solid harassment. It's good for counter push as you put it. It's also great just for a scouting tool, uh, in the end as well that you can kind of use it for that purpose. So uh, definitely in a very effective uh, all around ability. What is uh, Scout doing? He's kind of going a unique path up into the Hellborn jungle here. Puts down that Rev Ward. And actually is going to block this side camp over here. Will he be able to yeah, take it and vanish first? Yeah, he went vanish first, so no electric guy blocking. Yeah, he's going to really mess with uh, Insania. <laughs> That's what Scout does. Yep. Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen this hero, but uh, you think back to his power. He's most certainly kind of that very excellent jungle harasser, and that's why he's so strong in that suicide landing if you are going up against a jungler. So something to note, they don't, um, Hellborn does not have an upgrade quirk. So they're going to have a difficult time kind of wording mm -hmm. at least some of these. So middle matchup, you do got Rhapsody Magmus versus Pebbles Engineer. That's how it does shape up in the end. So again, nothing uh, too exciting or unexpected, I should say. But as far as excitement go, there definitely could be some good kill action. In fact, you already see Pebbles. He's already dropped half-life, so I would think he might need to be a little careful if uh, they want to go on him. Okay, he's going to eat some trees there, though. NBA. By the way, I, I can hear your in-game sound coming through your mic. You can hear my in-game sound. Oh, you know what? Okay. <sighs> Stupid Skype. <laughs> there we go. Is that that's better? Yeah, your voice sounds a little different, but it yeah, doesn't it's. In -game I have to switch to the webcam mic. That's probably why oh, okay. there might have been a little echo too, a little bit. But yeah, that was my bad. My Skype. My oh, it's okay. my whole computer issues. Okay, but so that should be good though. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's, it's much better. Make it a little more difficult to to cast like that. Okay, so, but yeah, now watch the middle lane, though. Um, I mean, you got this middle matchup here. Do you think it could sway either way or should sway either way? Or is it pretty uh, up to the um, players? I would, like to lean, I would like to say that Hellborn has a, maybe a slight advantage, but, man, Rhapsody Magmus is still uh, potent. Yeah. Um, as we saw in Hellborn Jungle, uh, Insania actually counter warded two wards with one counter ward. Mm -hmm. So he got his bang for the buck. Oh, wow, yeah. That's uh, that's definitely effective. So, have to take care of that. Obviously, a couple of camps still blocked over here, but I mean, still able to work with those three camps. So, you think he st should still manage just fine? Yeah, I think he should be fine. Uh, he uh, he also has the pull to work with if he wants. Um, he could hypothetically pull it right now and then do what he does on his little support heroes. You know, connect. But he didn't do it. I guess he's not doing that. He's camping top rune. I mean, as as I said, he, he's pretty aggressive in the jungle, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's ganking middle right now. Yeah. Oh, Rhapsody. Yes, yeah, speaking of that guy, there's a charger. Magma's done it at the same time, but it might not matter. Rhapsody taking a lot of damage. Disco Inferno's put down. Heal a little bit, a little bit of damage, but not enough to stay alive. Good play right there. Good gank coming in from Insania. As you said, the top rune happened to be an invis, and he came in with the charge. That also happened to be a time where Rhapsody wasn't in the best position right there, and they just dove on top of her off to the side. So, good commitment. From being yep. from Rexars. I mean, Solstice, man, he's actually, he is a very good ganker. I mean, it's hard to stop his his uh, blinding rush, I think it's called, yeah. Yeah. You can, he's really, he's really strong uh, at ganking middle because you can blinding rush, like, when you're still, like, in fog and then all of a sudden they're stunned. Yeah. And so, yeah, not a whole lot you can do about it, as you're saying. So, uh, most certainly can be an active gank here. And obviously, again, assisting right there for the blood loss. Speaking of uh, kills, though, Pebbles in the meantime in the middle lane. So can Ophelia be an active ganker, especially with that Skeleton King. So, kind of getting uh, their own simple response right there. And obviously, Hanskin on that Ophelia. He doesn't get to play it too often. Uh, but, you know, when he does, obviously, he does wonders with it. So, kind of showing oh, it yeah. off right there. He's already level four. I wonder what creeps he got. I wasn't really paying attention, yeah. but that's that's fairly high level, especially with the new jungle for Ophelia. I don't think he was blocked either, so yeah, I don't have to deal with that. You think that was a fault to the Hellborn team, or really could they not have invested into that? Um, I think it was, I think it was fine that they didn't invest in it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who who would have. I mean, it, it's there. You know, there's benefits and disadvantages to doing that. Mm-hmm.
as we see, Hellborn's jungle is already uh, basically completely kind of warded, except for the small camp. So yeah. it didn't really affect Solstice all too much. Yeah, again, he's uh, he's doing though he's doing okay. Two hundred seven gold per minute. Uh, obviously assisted with that kill at least, so helping there. But uh, we'll keep keep it on that. Of course, as it progresses. Speaking of heroes, and we haven't talked uh, too much just yet. Uh, the top lane torturer, twenty five and nine against this nine and zero scout here. Again, probably not too surprising that uh, purple Rexar, the carry player for Rexar, so he's having a decent time up here. You think the torture impact? I mean, you're expecting this Rexar team to kind of play a certain way. You know, torture carry short link is not your usual. I mean, it's been a while since we've really seen that. I mean, what do you expect him to be doing here? I mean, I, I kind of like the pick. Um, he's getting bonds over impalement, which is definitely good. You can't really impalement a scout, he'll just run away. Yeah. And also, it's really good for counter push. Um, you know, I, I would like to see him go some mid game items to really kind of stop the push so they can team fight mid game and, mm -hmm. yeah. But I think it's, it's, I think it's a fine option. It's a good solo. As you can see, he's beating Scout pretty convincingly. Yeah. So what are you talking about for items? Is it like a tablet or? Yeah. I mean, I guess it really depends on how good he's doing. How you know yeah. by like 10, 15 minutes. Um, but tablets not well. Maybe not a tablet. They have a bubbles. I'm, I'm really trying to think. I might have to get back and you that. <laughs> I, I don't really, I don't really want to see a grimoire or something. But I mean, okay. icon, icons, icons a possibility. I would yeah. say. Yeah, um, definitely kind of hero that could, could work. All right, well, well, again, we'll watch what Fuzi or not Fuzi, uh, Purple Rexar decides to eventually go. Speaking of Fuzi on Bubbles, he too is having a great time down here. Uh, you look at that, uh, 35 and eight compared to a 20 and one Kraken. So Fuzi's been well almost dominating at this point. He is level six too. Yeah, and he's also forced Kraken to buy a, a lot of regen, a lot of extra regen. But I, I would say, you know, both these matchups are going basically how they should. Mm -hmm. um, you know, both short lane heroes should have the advantage. <laughs> yeah. This game, uh, it's going to be interesting. I mean, like, I, I think early game is pretty equal. Um, and then it's going to really come down to Legion's aggressive uh, push lineup. I really think you, you get a great idea here of this, uh, of really the jungle change and the impact that has on certain heroes, especially like an Ophelia. I mean, you got Hanskin here, one of the, arguably one of the best Ophelia players out there. A lot of experience on it. His camps were not blocked. He's even assisted in a kill. And he's still only about 245 gold per minute right now. I mean, it's, you're, you're it's, maybe seeing 300 plus at this point. No, I mean, even old Ophelia, uh, 300 plus was pretty, like, you need the, <laughs> the perfect spawns for that, I would yeah. say. Um, at this point, but it was interesting. I, I talked about how he was level four, like at three minutes. Oh, uh, we got middle lane action right here, though. Try to blind strike coming in right there from Solstice. Oh. Dies three man, another from Magnus, setting up the eruption. Solstice gonna fall. They also got the kill to Pebbles, and now Engineer a lot of trouble as Fuzi jumps in. This is gonna be a cleanup for BMG. Uh, the the biggest factor there was just simply Rexars. They were committing to a gank. Unfortunately, they did not know Scout was there, and on top of that, obviously Bubbles poured it in. So. That just uh, worked out well, well in favor of BMG there in the end. Yeah, I mean, that was a pretty sick uh, triple stun from Limp coming out too. Of course, um, making it easy to set up by Scout. Yeah. Uh, with this silence, but yeah, huge turnaround. That's really unfortunate for Hellborn. Mm -hmm. I mean, Solstice is playing really aggressive. Um, and with that said, his far you know his farm's maybe a little lower than it should be. But um, so yeah, he's looking for the kills and that didn't happen. Now you have Torture again. He's still farming very well. 355 gold for This kind of gets to that area, though. As you were suggesting, you're not even too sure. I mean, where does he go with his farm? You know, maybe it's going to completely depend. Now that he knows his team kind of lost a big fight right there, you know, it's, it may determine what route they ultimately decide to go. But at the same time, you, you're, you're, you should probably expect this Legion team to get pretty active here very, very shortly. Not only because it's BMG, but obviously their, their lineup definitely speaks for that, too, as far as a lot of committing to pushes and whatnot. So... Yeah, I could see like a like a sack stone or something on um, torture. Okay. Um, yeah. Just some some yeah. you know mid game items, uh, team fight items. I mean, I just I just don't really know exactly what you get on torture because I, I really don't want to see the grimoire. I don't feel like that's an effective item choice on the hero. Oh yeah, and the, again, I, I don't think this is a game that they're gonna win with you know sitting back and farming either. What yeah. I mean, so not that it's also some good damage assistance, of course. Scout in the meantime with the top lane. There you go. Solstice again, kind of showing off that ganking prowess as uh, he comes in with his ultimate, even a very quick lunar judgment, as the case of 
He just basically tapped it and was just using it for the damage, the initial damage and whatnot. And able to yeah, I, I see most. I see a lot of solstice used like that. So let's see. It says deals hundred to four hundred magic. So I guess that was like a hundred magic damage. It was pretty low, yeah. But they yeah, got the one point five second fear. Right. Yeah. It's more so for the fear and to set up towards stun. So I think that was. I mean, obviously a good decision. They got the kill. But yeah. It's interesting to see the different ways it's used. Yeah. I mean, Insania. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely absolutely still in this. I mean, by. I mean, even though that mid <laughs> team fight was a little bit uh, grim. Um, and I, I really don't. I think Legion's gonna have a hard time pushing yeah. against Hellborn's team. Oh yeah, though there's a lot of counter push. <laughs> that is, uh, you mentioned Solstice. I mean, Hell Torture, obviously great at that. Uh, Engineer, very solid. So, yeah, yeah, that that is that is true. There, there is a lot of counter push potential. I mean, Ophelia, I wanna I wanna actually bring this up. So we're gonna pause. You know, again, this Alchemist Bones change. Uh, and I think it was a recent patch. There was, there was talk going into it about if it was going to really just nerf Ophelia. And, I mean, the idea that you can now use Alchemist Bones on Ophelia's creeps. Um, do you think that is something that could be a justification to get, like, an Alchemist Bones on a not-your-typical carry hero? Or is it just not worth it? I, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, maybe on, like, paper it sounds like a huge counter, but realistically it's just it's not, like, that big of a deal. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah, I remember a lot of debates about that uh, going up behind the scenes <laughs> before that change was put it in. Yeah, I, I was basically under the impression that you just said right there. It's like, I don't think it's really going to be that big of a deal. And, well, so far, yeah, it's never really been an issue, obviously. So, uh-oh, uh we have some action brewing over here. Ophelia able to dodge stalagmites initially, though. Could have helped lock down Pebbles. Great micromanagement coming out from Hanskin right there. And obviously some assistance from Rhapsody in the process. Now Kraken's in trouble. He does have his ultimate, but there's no one nearby to assist, and that would just probably not matter in the end. So Fuzi actually ends up getting credit for the kill. And again, this is just BMG's playstyle, man. They just start moving around, and <laughs> it becomes oh, yeah. difficult. Really incredible micro by Hanskin. Yeah. And he had his Vagabonds on one hero, and he was juking around with his uh, like hero in the meantime. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's pretty fun to watch. Not easy to do. Engineer's in trouble middle. Yeah, he's dead trouble. <laughs> dead trouble. Yeah, that's no chance right there. Pretty much uh, found him for quite a bit and scout, of course, against Finn Watson's. We've seen a, a scout plate, honestly, but yeah, this is what he does. Not only harasses that jungle, gets some decent uh, levels at least at the top lane, and then he starts to assist elsewhere. So The second tower is already down bottom. Wow. That is, yeah. I think that, did Bubbles take out the first tower like basically by himself? He must have. I think so, yeah, because Ophelia was say. occupied, yeah. Yeah. That. Wow, okay, that's a big deal. <laughs> oh, even bigger deal. So Rob Jimmy Channel, will they get it off? Yes, he will. The staccato stun's coming out in time. And Pebbles does fall right there. So Limp going for the uh, I'm going to trust my teammate, and understandably so. They easily get the kill. So, yeah, again, it's just been turned on big time. Portal key just purchased by Bubbles. And you see what item Torture purchased. He went for the Light Brand. So it goes oh, towards that no. Grand War, and that goes back to what we were both, the, you especially were suggesting. He's like, that's the one item you just really wouldn't want to see. I just don't like that at yeah. all. Yeah. Especially since they're not, like, <laughs> winning. <laughs> yeah. I maybe, mean, maybe if they're it's, winning, but. I mean, you got to expect Legion's going to be, like, pretty aggressive, like, I would say, like, in five minutes, just pushing all the towers down with their lineup. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to have? Like, maybe a Grim War? Like, like, you're so squishy that like, you're just going to get jumped on by all their initiation and just die. Yeah. Like, I, I'd be almost fine with, like, um... I mean, okay. Like, if he gets a Grimoire and then he, he can manage to get a shrunken head, like, maybe it might pan out. But, uh... He's... Yeah, he's going to be so, so squishy. So we see another pick off bottom by Fuzi. That's... Yep. Just delaying Kraken's PK that much more. <laughs> Yeah, he's no, nowhere near it at this point. I mean, speaking of PK, Pebbles obviously another great candidate for that, but he's he's still trying to finish those steam boots before even thinking about the portal key. And he actually should have that now, but yeah, portal key is ways off for him. We already talked about it being on Bubbles, and Fuzi, you know, 450, but also Magnus has had it, and he's now 480 gold permitted himself. So yeah, getting across the board, this is looking better and better for BMG right now as yeah, this game progresses. Safe to say they're in a really good position. Yeah. You see Solstice, I mean, he has a Mighty Blade here, so be curious if he's just going to be going, trying to go at least for that straight shrunken head at this point. But oh, that I think that's the right choice. He yeah. can put out a pretty substantial amount of damage even with just a sh shrunken head. <laughs> and Pebbles is dead. Yeah, he was a little too far pushed up right then again, especially with the two Porta Keys already being on this Legion side. There's, they could just jump you out of nowhere at any moment, so... 
Their movement, VMG's movement is so good this game. They, they're just like going around farming everything and then collapsing as five in a location to yeah. get a kill. They're not pub, and that's not pub training. Pub training is where you're not, you're not farming at all, you're just kind of running as five. No, they're not pub training, they're just being five when they need to be five. And that's why they're so good. Yep, again, it's, they just have so much experience at this point. Obviously, Olymp was the recent addition and replacing Super KG, of course, by Team Decision. But, you know, it's, that's like that's like replacing freaking uh, LeBron James with Michael Jordan or something like that, you know. <laughs> a quick reference right there, I don't know. Uh, anyways, Pebbles in the meantime going to be taken out in the middle lane. Scout's going in too. He wants that team follow-up though. There's the protective ability. Keep it alive. In comes the eruption from Limp. Not the most damage though. Enough for some more kills. There we go. They get the one kill of Solstice right there. Torture's going to be cleaned up. And now Crack is going to more than likely maybe end up falling. No, he is able to charge away. But that doesn't mean he's getting away. Even if he's deep in his own base, they are going to commit. And they are going to take out Crack. And a hat trick for Fousey right there. And I think uh, the 15-minute yeah. mark is looking appealing here for Rexers. Maybe the 13-minute mark. Like oh, gosh. <laughs> the zings. <laughs> yeah. No, but, um, I mean, there's a good crack and all, but it just doesn't matter. Yeah. It just doesn't matter at this point. DMG turns it on, and it wasn't stopping <laughs> this game. That is for sure. So, uh, you, you know, you do look at the draft. You pointed that out. You, you think uh, BMG won that kind of initial ban war. They got the Rhapsody pickup. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just kind of part of being Legion side, too. There's yeah. It's just the way it is um, in some drafts. I wouldn't say they completely won the draft. Um, okay. But they certainly did win the game. <laughs> yes. I mean... They have won the game. I mean, I, th almost. I think it kind of went started going kind of poorly after that um, that mid mid fight early on where Hellborn yeah. got triple stunned and then, yeah. It kind of threw off their momentum for sure. Yeah, and it does seem like a t the kind of team too. And again, this this is another thing that comes with experience. Again, obviously, no doubt Rexers one of the le lesser experienced teams in this event, especially not to let let things like that, that get to you. I mean, you got you got your state greens, what used to be state greens, your BFG right now, your sinks. Like they they've been through those scenarios many many of times before. You know, you go for a gank like that, it completely backfires earlier on. Don't let it phase you. You know, a team like this though, maybe letting it phase them a little too much. It, Perhaps that uh, didn't yeah. help the situation. I mean, you gotta look. I mean, Han is like, like the game right now is pretty out of hand for uh, Rexars, but they only maybe like lost one or two engagements, and then that, and then that's why we're here right now. It's not like they got completely stomped. Yeah, it might look that way, but it's not Ooh. the reason. Uh, that's unfortunate right there. They yeah. thought they had a chance on bubbles, but that tablet pickup proved to be the difference maker. Magnus stuns in. Only stun engineer, so they get the kill right there. In comes the ultimate from Solstice, but another protective melody helping to save the day. The release of Kraken coming out, still pulling them in. is going to end up going down, but Limp in the background. Never mind, Ophelia's touch comes out. The double stun from Limp, and now both Kraken and Solstice are going to fall. PMG, their teamwork is just on fire here this game. That also doesn't help Rexar's chances. And they are going to take out Torture. That's going to be a genocide, and that most likely will be a concede. Yep, there it is. There you go. I mean, Legion has a team where if they have the advantage, they can just keep the pressure on. Yeah. And that's what they're doing. That is what they did. Well, uh, again, like you said, it's a, not, not, not a repeat of yesterday by any means for Rex. But, yeah, no, I, no doubt. I think that was just honestly a lot of... BMG, when they're playing like that, they 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 got to be near unbeatable. I mean, they were just clicking on all sorts. But like you said, too, I mean, they hell, Rexar's got the Bloodlust kill, and, you know, they were actually doing good. Torture got some good farm at the top lane. 